It's not going to associate the bed with sleep. It's going to associate the bed with movies. That's one of the problems that we call, con- it's called conditioned arousal, which sounds a lot more salacious than it actually is. It's a term that we use in sleep medicine, which may explain insomnia. So with insomnia, let's say that the first time you go to this thing called a dentist and you get in the chair and it's kind of cool, you're reclined back and you know you think this is fine. But then after about 14 or 15 visits, when you get into that chair, you are no longer looking forward to getting into that chair, are you? Why? Because you've learned the association that being in that chair typically leads to a bad outcome. (laughs) Now, the same thing is true with the bed. If you start associating the bed with anything other than sleep, and we give you a pass in terms of sex, but sleep and sex, anything other than that, you start to learn that this thing called my bed is this place where I'm awake, where I work, where I eat, where we have conversations, where I watch television. And so, you know, if I were to, and again, I'm stealing Michael Grenner's point, but if I were to say to you, bed, sleep, bed, sleep, bed, sleep, bed, sleep, bed, 